Okay, story time. So I got this wonderful Airbnb at the, I think it's like the Bonnet something hotel. It's the Wyndham Hotel in um, Orlando. Beautiful property. Well, I fucked up. I went to the little sales pitch meeting because they offered me something free. I don't know what it was, but I went. They held me hostage. I didn't want to buy a timeshare, but I did end up buying a discovery package, which seemed like, like a good idea at the time. It was not. I paid like $3,200 for this discovery package. Long story short, every time I went to book, then they were the rooms weren't available. Then I finally did book, and we went to the Waikiki Beach Walk, the Wyndham um, Hotel. The room space like the bones were great but the room probably hadn't been cleaned in at least a month it was so dirty that the shower floor was black I made them come and scrub my shower floor because I would not let my daughter take a shower in there and the railing when you went upstairs was so dirty it was black um housekeeping supervisor came and looked and said he was embarrassed the you could see like the lamps they look like they had fur on them, but it wasn't fur, it was dirt. And what they tried to say was, oh, it's because we're doing construction. No, you're doing construction on the other side of the building. That has nothing to do with the unit that you put me in. The units that they show you when you go to these sales pitch are not the units that they put you in once you've purchased. Do you remember when the Brady Bunch went to Hawaii? <laughs> yeah, the furniture was still the same. The room could have been really nice. It was like upstairs, downstairs, two bedroom. I think it was like two bathroom. They had a washer and dryer, but the room hadn't been cleaned in at least a month. Now, I tried to book again to go to New York, right? They told me I needed a three-day minimum. I said, great, I'm coming in on the 21st. I will be there for five days. So if I could stay there all five days, it would be amazing. They told me, no, the room is not available for five days. I came in on a Wednesday, but they booked the room for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday because they told me that I had to do a three-day minimum, which meant that I had to book and use my points for a night that they understood I was not going to be in the room. Let me repeat myself. They understood that I was not going to be in the room. So I said, well, instead of doing like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, why can't you do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Because I will be there. But of course, they were booked Friday. So I had to use my points for a day. I wasn't even in the room. So I stayed there for two days, then still had to come out of pocket and go to another hotel, which was amazing because we stayed at the Executive La Soleil Hotel in Midtown. I should have stayed there from the beginning. Long story short, I still have 1,600 points with Wyndham. <laughs> because I had to use a day when they knew I wasn't going to be in the room. Um, it would have been cheaper. I added it up. It would have been cheaper if I had just paid out of pocket for my two vacations rather than buying the discovery package. I went to sales pitches again and I told them no way. I just went this time for my $100 Uber credit when I was in New York. And um, they still try to hold me hostage. What they do is like they come in, you tell them, no, 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 I'm not interested, thank you. And then they bring a closer in, which is like the used car salesman. Usually somebody who's like fast talking, who's been there forever, who tries to sell you. Didn't work, wasn't doing it. Will never give Wyndham my money again, ever. If the Wyndham ever tries to get you to go to a sell pitch, run, run, run. They will ruin the next day of your vacation if you let them. You cannot be polite. They try to hold you hostage. And they try to like force you into buying someplace you're not even going to like, <laughs> if you want me to be honest. Um, yeah, buy a vacation home, maybe. Don't buy a timeshare at the Wyndham. And the nicest place was in Orlando. The upper other properties were not as nice. And they show you really nice rooms. But those are not the rooms they put you in. So yeah, Club Wyndham was a bust. I will not be doing that again. I'm going to try to use my 1,600 points to go somewhere. They need to give me my points back for that day they made me book when they knew nobody was going to be in the room too. But um, as of right now, yeah, it's, it's a no-go for me.